How would you like your coffee? Let's ask it in Lebanese Arabic. We will ask this question in three different ways. كيف بتاخد أهوتك؟ كيف بتحب أهوتك؟ كيف بتشرب أهوتك؟ Let's break these down. We will start with كيف بتاخد أهوتك؟ How do you take your coffee? كيف How بتاخد You take بتاخد Pronounced quickly as بتاخد كيف بتاخد How do you take Masculine أهوتك أهوتك The word أهوتك means your coffee in the masculine form. Ahwe alone means coffee. Ahwe. And the ak in the end means your masculine. Together, we won't pronounce it ahwe ak. We will pronounce it ahu tak. Because the word ahwe alone finishes with the te marbuta, which is usually silent. We don't pronounce it ahwit when it's alone. We pronounce it ahwe. But the moment we attach a possessive ending to it, we start pronouncing the te marbuta. That's why we say ahutak and not ahwe ak. So the whole thing together would be kif بتاخد أهوتك How do you take your coffee? We can also ask How would you like your coffee? كيف بتحب بتحب أهوتك So بتحب means you like or you love masculine But when I say كيف بتحب أهوتك It means how would you like your coffee? The third way, كيف بتشرب أهوتك? كيف بتشرب? You drink. كيف بتشرب? كيف بتشرب أهوتك? How do you drink your coffee? Masculine. You notice here I'm not asking a yes-no question. This is a cultural thing. When we have guests in Lebanon, instead of asking, would you like a coffee, we ask, how would you like your coffee? There is an assumption here that the person will drink coffee. This shows how generous Lebanese culture is. Now let's ask the same question in feminine. Kif b'teghde ahoutik? Kif b'teghde? B'teghde? Pronounced as بتاخده. كيف بتاخده? How do you take feminine? أهوتيك. أهوتيك. Again here, I'm not saying أهويك. We are pronouncing the T. أهوتيك. And the إك sound in the end makes it feminine. Your coffee. Feminine. So, the whole thing would be كيف بتاخدي أهوتيك? How do you take your coffee? We can also ask كيف بتحبي? بتحبي? You like or you love. In this context, how would you like? كيف بتحبي أهوتيك? Or كيف بتشربي أهوتيك? كيف بتشرب بتشرب is masculine بتشرب with the a sound in the end makes it feminine so let's repeat the three questions كيف بتاخدي أهوتيك كيف بتحبي أهوتيك and كيف بتشربي أهوتيك now Let's ask the same question in the plural form. It is common in Lebanese culture 
to ask this question in the plural form because it is very common to have more than one guest in your home as a Lebanese. So, we can ask كيف بتاخدو أهوتكن in the plural? كيف بتاخدو بتاخدو You take plural كيف بتاخدو أهوتكن أهوة كافي أهوتكن your كافي in the plural كيف بتاخدو أهوتكن or كيف بتحبو بتحبو أهوتكن how would you like your كافي كيف بتشربو pronounced faster as كيف بتشربو كيف بتش را بو you drink plural كيف بتشربو أهوتكن your coffee plural again let's repeat all three questions كيف بتاخدو أهوتكن how do you take your coffee in the plural كيف بتحبو أهوتكن how would you like your coffee in the plural and كيف بتشربو أهوتكن how do you drink your coffee We usually have three answers to this question. مع سكر بلا سكر or بدون سكر and وسط Let's break it down. مع سكر مع سكر مع means with سكر means sugar مع سكر means with sugar بلا سكر or بدون سكر without sugar بلا بلا without or بدون بدون also means without the third answer would be وسط وسط this word literally means medium or sometimes it even means middle middle of something but when we say wasat it means the coffee will have sugar but not too much or not too little in between so that's wasat wasat for example كيف بتاخد قهوتك مع سكر كيف بتاخدي قهوتك بدون سكر كيف بتاخدو قهوتكن؟ وسط Another example would be كيف بتحب قهوتك؟ مع سكر كيف بتحبي قهوتك؟ بدون سكر كيف بتشربو قهوتكن؟ وسط